It's a romantically misty day at Leland, the sort of day that calls for a cup of tea. We're pretty excited this morning, aren't we, Lancelot? Because today is the day we are going to properly unwrap these curtains and I'm going to tell you all about them. But first, I've got my tea, I'm covered up like a yeti, and I'm going out to the chapel to see how they're getting on. It sounds really weird, but as I approach the chapel, every single time I get like little butterflies of excitement just to see the latest progress. Est-ce que tout se passe bien? Ça se passe bien pour le moment. Mais oui, ça doit faire du bien de voir le progrès continue comme ah, ça tous les jours. Ça, ça commence à prendre forme. Ah oui, là on voit la forme très très bien. This is looking really good. You can see that on the left and on the right, they've made a rough version of the half rounds that they need for those two vaults. And in the center, they have a rough version of the more flat edged arch, which matches these along here just getting right down to the bottom. This section is now smoothed, so that bit is done. You can see just the left-hand side of that arch. This one's at an earlier stage, it's still much, much rougher, but the first section of finished plaster work is done. Oh, we have recreated the same thing. Yes, it's exactly the same thing. C'est parfait. And then just there, it's got to carry on going. Non, mais c'est vraiment super. Là, vous avez alors une bonne surface pour les peintre. Oui. It is such painstaking work over and over again. The same areas, building up each time, smoothing down, building up, smoothing down, building up. Une fois que les, les moulures sont faites, on, mm. on, finit, les, on finit les voûtes. Vous d'accord, les surfaces plates entre... Ça. On reprend la, la moulure et on suit. En fait, on prend les deux liserés là. Oui. Les deux liserés et on remonte, on essaye de suivre le, le mouvement de, de la voûte. Ça, ça doit être très difficile de pouvoir suivre une, comme ça. Une fois que vous avez les empreintes, parce que là, on fait des empreintes là, en fait. Mm -hmm. On marque. Ah, et... je vois, oui. Là, on, on refait le... Oui, alors vous savez exactement où arrive la voûte. C'est ça. Alors, euh, ici, ça va devenir beaucoup plus épais. Ça viendra à peu près ici. D'accord. Voilà. Oui. Mais on va le reprendre de là, en fait. Mm -hmm. On le reprend à l'envers. En fait, on travaille à l'envers. En permanence. Et comment, qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire à l'envers? La, la, la mesure. Au lieu de la prendre ici, on va la reprendre ici. D'accord. On va remesurer, euh, oui. la différence. Et Je après, vois. On fait le... Parce que vous saviez que cette partie est bonne. Alors, vous voilà. allez en arrière, en arrière pour arriver, on, on arriver à la voûte. Ouais. D'accord. Et quand on fait les moulures, on, on, pareil, c'est sens inverse. Tout à partir d'ici. Voilà, c'est ça. Ah, c'est fascinant. Merci, mais je ne vais pas vous déranger de plus, mais merci euh, de me laisser venir tous les jours regarder comme ça. Avec plaisir. <rire> à tout à l'heure. Merci. Et bon appétit. Merci, merci. Le temps a commencé à enveloper les Because these curtains we bought in 2022 at auction, and I keep saying this, auctions are the best way that we found anyway to furnish a home at a better cost than going straight to the supplier. Of course, if you have the money and you can walk straight into, well, in this case, Braconnier yeah. in Paris, uh, who make the most stunning fabrics. If you can just walk in and choose anything you like and the cost isn't a problem, then Fantastic, that's great. You can order exactly what you need exactly. as well. Perfect. But, well, we can't do that because we have so many things to do here, so many bits of renovation, that we have to try and find cheaper ways of getting the same look. So we were very happy when, back in 2022, we saw five pairs of Braconnier curtains, and not in just any Braconnier fabric, in a fabric called Le Grand Corail. I'll tell you a bit more about this fabric in a second. In a size that would fit our windows. And originally we got them for the library. We thought when finally the library is done, these could be perfect, so thinking ahead. But now that I see them, and I'm thinking five pairs of curtains, that is exactly the right size for the Grand Salon windows. Now it's not the fabric we were going to put into the Grand Salon. We actually have fabric already from my old curtains, which is very lovely. But I don't know about you, Philip, I'm wondering if we could do what they did in France in the 18th century, which is one winter look for a room and one summer look. Yes. Because this is such a rich colour, I think it could be a great winter look for the Grand Salon. I know they're going to need a good clean, these are very old curtains. But also, can we just say that we got all of that, we got five ready-made pairs of curtains. Oh, look, with... Bonus the, curtain, right? Exactly. <laughs> for less money than it would have cost us to get the fabric for 
one pair of curtains. So I, I think it's, yeah, auction oh, the It's amazing. Should I hold them up? Yeah, well, you'd be able to because they'll drop to the floor now. Yeah, but they're, they weren't that, that long, I don't think. I think they were like, oh. Yeah, not very long at all. They have the border. Yes, this everything's. Is perhaps Buccaneer's most famous fabric. Le Grand Quarai, it's. <laughs> Are you sweeping the floor with it? I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm just, like, sorry. I'm just like, oh, so happy looking at them. So yes, I'm sweeping the floor. By the and way, look at the way the border goes around the base. I just want to show. Oh, oh yes, that's lovely. Yeah. But can I show my favourite bit? Yeah, go on. Can we see what that is? Hidden squirrels. Hidden squirrels, which we didn't know actually when, no, we, when we got them, and we then we looked know. up the pattern. Oh, I love them. They're beautiful. I love the colour. Shall we see them next to the panelling just to see what we're seeing? Just to see. Just to see. Just to see. And also, let's see what we've actually got in here. Because just now, as I was showing you, you took this out. This is not a curtain. Yeah, that wasn't in the... No, it, didn't, it wasn't in the description. And it's not a helmet. That's a window seat stuff. Windows. Okay, let's go. And there's two of them. Oh, my goodness. Well, we could make the and two... The tie backs. I knew that they came yes. with tie backs. I can't remember how many tie backs. I think... Oh, I don't know. But um, the two window seats, we might be able to put next to uh, either side of the fireplace. If you put like a tiny little, little seat. Oh, we could make it smaller and have like little, little two little stalls. Or in the windows, you know... That's the... what I'm talking about. Oh, I like that. I really like... Oh. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> she doesn't like that. You... <laughs> I'm sure with the decoration all around will be great. It's your wedding present. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's very particular, but <laughs> I'm doing a yes. <laughs> particular. Now you are the ones who always know what to put where, uh, so I trust you guys. <laughs> I know that you can do magic with this. <laughs> oh, I think they're going to work. I'm sure people will be like thinking, oh my gosh, Natalia, you don't know anything. No, I don't know about fabric, so sorry. Uh, so is it yeah. just, no, is it, it just too much pattern for you? Yeah, yeah. Too busy? Too busy, mm. yeah. I, I'm so used to have uh, all the curtains here, most of the curtains here, are just one color and maybe... Mm, with, a, mm, with a pattern or like... Yeah, yeah, pattern that you barely see. Like a Damasco. On the, mm -hmm. the light. Those are heavy as well, but they're tiny. Yeah, we're Those just are how many five there? pairs. So they, they're... they're I, I want to see them in the <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> I am quite in love with them, actually. That's well, they're not for everyone. That's important, it's your home. <laughs> So we brought them in to look at them next to the panelling and just by chance one of the doors for the future library is stored here and then as soon as we walked in Philip said oh but hang on look at it next to the sort of mahogany mm. colour of those doors. It pops, the red pops. It's true, it might be better for the library. It's a little bit drab next, next to the green. Colour. It's not bad, it's just, a, I don't know, it, I feel like it does way more with the mahogany than... Shall I hold up and you can have a look? Oh, yeah, I love that. I think I see what you mean. Mind you, that's not the finished colour of the really? panelling. Like, there'll be a lot of gold on it, which would lift it. Having said that... Look at that. That is beautiful. That is a stunning combination. I think our initial instinct was the best. It brings out the reddish tones in the yeah. wood. It complements it beautifully. And because this is so dark as well, I think it really works with the lighter curtains, whereas it just blends in with the green. I don't know what it is about this month. It's curtain and mirror month at La yes. Official January is curtain and mirror month. <laughs> Can you hold them up next to the actual window? I think we keep our options open. This room will be done before the library, yes. so we can see if they would work in here. Exactly, and I don't think we have to modify them at all, unless you want to have them as a winter curtain, so you have to interline them. They are sumptuous. I find it quite beautiful against it, actually. Even if we don't change the colour of the panelling, it picks out the same bluey greens here, which is quite interesting. Gosh, I do love this room. Look at this view. It's such a beautiful day now. It's all misty this morning. I can't wait to wear the castle now again. I know, I miss it so much because it's the heart of the home. We've blocked our entire so, route to yeah, a whole exactly. wing. Yeah downstairs. I'm just having fun putting furniture in front of them now because it's just so French. Starting to feel like a chateau in this room, though... Really? Quite a long way to go, let's be fair. Quite a long way.
Just to give you all a little update on the Grand Salon, the engineer is coming at the end of January and he's going to give us the new specs that we need, the new calculations to remove these beams and to replace them with steels. Because last time he came, he told us how to repair these beams, but then also mentioned that the repair would only last 50 to 100 years and in my mid 90s, I really don't want to be redoing the ceiling of the Grand Salon. So that's why we've actually decided to do something more drastic and fix the problem permanently. These need to be restuffed and yeah. Definitely. It's nothing worse than a flaccid cushion cover. No. It's nearly a perfect fit. What? We didn't but even know we'd bought them. We and it have turns these out in the winter salon as well. Shall we go and look at the reveals in the winter salon? The winter salon is the future library. See, the thing about this room is I actually love the curtains that I made for this room. I think they work really well. I don't feel a strong need to change them. But if the room next door, the castle have much of a green undertone, you're going to walk from a green room into another green room. Definitely. And you're not going to get that yeah. contrast. And you want it to flow, obviously, but mm. have a little bit of a different feel in the room. So we think by making... A, this one redder, red in yeah. It, it would be much nicer when you look through and the doors are open you get you feel like you're in different environments mm. rather than in yeah anyway that was the idea that, yeah that's why it came about yeah. in the first place it's not bad against the mahogany no it's nice it's a nice color yeah. the window needs to be painted let's make a decision um once the paneling is in place sure. then we'll have a much better idea yeah, yeah absolutely we have to add paint anyway at that time yes when everything's up so we'll see oh, i do love them though. <laughs> i love them so much <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the kitchen where it's warm and I'll tell you more about the fabric. Now we're in the warmth of the kitchen with all... The warmth? Yes, <laughs> can I show everyone what you look like? You call it the warmth of the kitchen. The warmth. Some would say that's more than enough, actually. Is it? <laughs> and I've got my sleeves rolled up. I don't understand why we have such different temperature controls going on. And I'm quite elderly. You'd think I'd be a lot <laughs> older. There is some sort of draft coming from that side, but those windows are about 100 years newer the nose. How is that possible? You are so elderly. There's a draft. <laughs> You're 27 years old. You shouldn't know what a draft is. You look utterly adorable. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to tell you all a little bit about this fabric, Le Grand Corail, and why it's so well known, certainly in France. It was designed in the 1860s by Braconnier. And this design is known because it is extremely difficult to print using 105 wooden blocks to hand block each repeat of fabric. So for just one repeat of fabric, 105 wooden blocks that need to be put down individually with 16 different colors onto a base of linen. So it's mind blowing the amount of work that goes into the production of just one meter of this fabric. And in fact, I think it's about 350 pounds a meter. So as Philip said, we bought five sets of curtains for less than the fabric of one curtain. We, we couldn't possibly have done it. So we're really, really lucky that they came up at auction. That's what I love about auctions. Where are we going to put them? Turns out we don't quite know yet, but probably either in the Grand Salon or the library, and we'll make that decision as soon as the Grand Salon panelling is back up, and then we can really see things properly in place and choose the colours. So your team Grand Salon at the moment, I'm, I'm leaning more towards team, team library. library. So maybe it would be fun to have a poll just on the Chateau Darius to see where everyone's at. Team Stephanie. <laughs> Team Philip. Do you know what? I actually think you're going to win because it looks so good with the mahogany. Is, is, that's oh, what it's no. about. Okay, let us know in the comments whether you're Team Philip or Team Stephanie. And also, I think, yeah, put a poll up. It'd be quite fun to see what people think. You could be Team Natty, of course. Team. Don't <laughs> I don't like him at all, yeah. <laughs> Just don't put them up at all. So, Team Natty, Team Philip, or Team Stephanie. We're having a little turkey roast tonight. I'm loving our evenings of sort of inventing food with stuff in the freezers. Oh, that's the roast potatoes on an excellent serving dish, which will be slightly more visible once it's out it. of the oven. So... <laughs> you made a sauce? I hope so. Okay, let me grab a spoon. I'm going to try. Look, that's delicious. Is that okay? How did you do it? Um, a lot of spices, vegetable butter, water, uh, stock. It's pretty good. Oh, a little bit more. bay leaf from the garden. Oh, mm. 
pre-sourcing the food. I think I made too much sauce. We're just going wild tonight. You want to finish? I mean... Nah, I think it's okay like that. It is swimming in it. <laughs> and I also left the roast potatoes in the oven a bit too long. Yeah, look, fine. it's been a busy day. We, we did tried. what we could. And you look so adorable in that pink hood that honestly nothing else matters to me right now. Feels like Christmas again, Philip. I love that dish as a serving dish. Oh, so do I. I think it might have been intended as a tray, but you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't supposed to be a serving dish, but it's very beautiful. Oh, that looks amazing. You'll have to take our word for it that it's very beautiful because it's just covered in sauce <laughs> and slightly over brown potatoes well, you can at see the moment. The shape of it, sort of. It is very beautiful. I'm making a nice thick slice. Lovely. Yeah. It melts my heart that although whilst I'm editing the day's video at night after dinner, Philip is doing all of the washing up, he still insists on bringing out all of the hand wash only crystal and not just one glass, but one for the wine and one for the water. As we should. All the cutlery that doesn't go in the dishwasher <laughs> either. Thank you. The jug Philip. does. <laughs> the jug does. Yes, for the jug. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Angel. Thank you, darling.